So, hi everyone again, here is Mr. Safe, your science teacher for this course, and we were talking about the forces in the previous lesson, let's keep going. What's the difference actually between push and pull forces? I know you might know the difference, to push something is to moving forward, which means away from you. Scientifically, push means to move something away from you, and pull something, it means to bring something back to you or to move it towards you. That's the difference between them. Do we have more differences? Yes, but we need to answer this question. Can the air move something forward by pushing force? You might say no, but actually the answer is yes. The air can push something forward. The air has a power to push something forward, which is leaves of the tree, <laughs> a bowl, <laughs> your hair if you already have, <laughs> just like this. <laughs> so can the air push something or move something away? The answer is totally yes. I have another question for you. What is the problem here? <laughs> what is the problem? He's trying to push the door forward but the door doesn't open. Exactly, this is the answer. He didn't read the word here. He didn't read the word pull. So to open this door, you have to pull. Sometimes you can use push or pull, but other times you need to use only one. This leads us to understand something, which is if you need to push something, you're gonna move it away from you. If you are pulling something, you are trying to bring it back towards you. Keep in mind these words. Towards you represents a pull force. Away from you represents a push force. But what if the forces that are act on an object are more than one force in more than one direction? Exactly like here. The object here in between the two groups of the students is affected by two amount of forces in two different directions. Here, this is a group of students are trying to pull. And on the other hand, other group of the students are trying to pull the other group. So in which direction do they move? Exactly, it depends. It depends on the amount of force because if they are equal forces, 400 newtons here, 300 newtons here, this is the amount of force, we have a group is stronger than the other group. This group is more powerful. So they are going to pull them in this direction. So the whole group going to move in this direction. So this is totally unbalanced force. What does it mean unbalanced force, unequal forces? Inside, maybe 400, maybe more, maybe less. On the other hand, they are not equal, which means unbalanced forces. The unbalanced forces like here. This is totally unbalanced force. But what if the forces in both sides are equal? Is this unbalanced? No, it's balanced. So here, the two groups are equal. In which direction they are going to move? Exactly, they are not going to move because the both sides are equal. So if they are equal, no motion. That leads us to understand and answer this question. When exactly the object move? It moves when it's affected by unbalanced forces. Unbalanced forces causes motion. But the balanced forces doesn't cause motion. If the object is affected by more than one type of forces from different directions and all of the forces act on an object are equal, balanced forces, the object will not move. The last piece of information that I have for you here is this question. What's gonna happen to this ball when the boy threw it upward? Think, take a time, exactly. The ball will move forward and then stop temporarily in the air and then start fall down. 
So it seems like something in the ground, Side. the earth, attracted. Attract means pull it downward. This is simply gravity. Gravity, it's a force found at the center of the earth. It attracts object downward. It causes the motion of the object towards the center of the earth. This is simple application about the balanced and the unbalanced forces. Let's try to do it together. I'm gonna bring a buoy here to attract this rope in this side, okay? I'm going to put another one on the other side. I need you to take a look. Are they equal forces in both sides? Take a look here. This is the amount of force. It's 50 Newton in this side. On the other hand, we have 100 Newton. What's gonna happen if I clicked on go? Is it going to move or no? I guess so, it's going to move because it's unbalanced forces, but in which direction? To the right hand side or the left hand side? You're right. They are going to move in the side of the stronger forces. Simply, this is the meaning of unbalanced forces. Would you like to examine the balanced forces? Let's change. I'm going to bring this boy backward and put another one with the same amount of forces on the other hand and click on go. Are they moving? No, they are not moving. This is why it's balanced forces. The balanced forces cause stopping. It doesn't cause the motion of the 